So it is Wednesday, May, I don't even know anymore. Today is Wednesday, May 24th, and I thought I would do another little vlog around my house today because I'm on my little mini vacation until I start my new job. I believe I start it Friday or Saturday. It's like 6.30 because I don't sleep in ever. I actually got up at 10 of 6, which has been like my body is accustomed to that time for some reason now. So that is the time I've been waking up the past two days. So I'm making some coffee. I did my morning skincare and I do want to film some videos today because I actually have another collab going up tomorrow and I haven't even filmed it yet. So I have to do that. So for breakfast, I have some potatoes that were left over from my mom's last night. So I went to her house last night for dinner. We made French dip sandwiches for the first time and it was actually really good. I feel like next time, like there are things that we could do differently to make them better, but they were really good. My sister got chickens so she gets to have like fresh eggs and I'm just so jealous because I have to buy store-bought eggs, which just, if you guys have ever had a store-bought egg and a fresh egg, the fresh eggs always are going to taste better and they're going to be more yellow than a regular store-bought egg. So I need to maybe talk to, there's a lot of chicken farmers on the island and some of them sell eggs, some of them just give them away. So I think I want to talk to one of them about getting eggs because I would love that. So I'm going to make some scrambled eggs and maybe make some like home fries with the leftover potatoes. And I have some really good Little Notch bread. Little Notch is a bakery in Maine. Honey oatmeal bread is so good and I've been starting to buy that because it's actually a little bit better for you just because the ingredients are really simple because they are just like homemade breads. So the ingredients are simple. They don't have any chemicals or additives to the bread. So I've been buying that. The only downside to it is that there are no preservatives in it. So therefore it molds faster. Here's my breakfast. I have some scrambled eggs. Now some of you guys are going to be like, those aren't real scrambled eggs. Listen, this is how I like my scrambled eggs. I don't like this half raw egg bullshit that they put on your plates in restaurants. I want them cooked all the way and I want them a little bit browned. And I also made those home fries and I have that bread I was talking to you guys about with just some butter and my mom's homemade raspberry jam. And that's my breakfast. I feel like I've been filming forever, but I'm finally done. Oh my goodness. I think I did like three or four videos today, but it just was an all day process. I think I started filming at nine and it's now noon. So I've been filming for like three hours now. I know that some people film two hours for one video, but it usually takes me about 20 minutes to film each video. And then I have to import all the footage onto my laptop before I film another one because my camera doesn't have big memory. Do you guys like this dress? I don't like this on me um this is from sarah Ray vargas she did a closet sale and i got this from her and i just think it's too tight on me but it was really cute for the q a video i just filmed so this is my lunch i just made a wrap and i thought i would show you guys what i put in it so first of all the wrap is these two marrows low in carb let's skip the sandwich i love these wraps it's not that i'm trying to like eat low carb or anything I just love the taste of these the best. These are the honey wheat ones. I've tried a few different kinds. They're all pretty good. And then I put some of this Sir Kensington's mayonnaise. I got this from Thrive Market. I got this from Thrive Market too. This is the Annie's Organic Honey Mustard. I just put a little bit of these on the wrap. I don't like to add a lot of condiments. I just like enough so that it's not just like a dry wrap. Then for me, I have two slices of this sandwich pepperoni as well as two slices of this black forest ham that I got at my deli. And I have a slice of this Land O'Lakes American cheese. This is deli cheese. I also have a good sized handful of this Olivia's Organics Baby Romaine on it. I've been trying to buy darker greens lately because I learned from Becca Bristow, you guys definitely need to go watch her, that darker greens are always going to give you more nutrients than your typical iceberg or romaine hearts lettuce so i'm going to try to buy darker greens from now on and i also put a slice of one of these sandwich stuffers these are the kosher dill they're made with sea salt so they're a little bit lighter in sodium but not very much and a couple of slices of these banana peppers and then i'm probably going to eat it with one of these orchard valley harvest cranberry almond cashew trail mix i bought like a big pack of these at tj maxx for super cheap and i've been really enjoying it it's just a nice little snack 
and that is going to be my lunch. So I just finished my lunch, but I just wanted to show you guys that I also am drinking one of these vitamin waters. This is the essential orange one, and this is really good. It tastes just like, like, um, tang or like orange Kool-Aid or something. It's really good. Okay, so it's now five o'clock and I decided to go ahead and make some dinner. And I think I'm gonna keep it really simple, but I did want to make my fiddleheads before they go bad. Raise your hand right now if you have had fiddleheads. Go ahead, comment down below. So fiddleheads look like this. If you don't know what they are, they're kind of, are they just a main thing? I don't know, but basically fiddleheads are like a baby fern, I almost wanna say they are, and they grow next to the river and people pick them and this is what they look like. They look super crazy, and growing up I always thought that they were gross, but now I love them. Basically, they taste just like a green, you know, your typical green. I honestly think the best way to describe the taste of them is if you like asparagus, you would like fiddleheads. So that's basically what they taste like to me, at least. They taste like asparagus, and they're really good. I just um, boil them and eat them with butter, salt, and pepper. So here are my fiddleheads. I just wash them. You're gonna wanna wash them really well, whether you're just gonna rinse them really well or even just soak them for a few minutes. And I'm just going to put this in my pot. And then I'm just going to cover them with water. Then I just have them on the stove and I'm just gonna salt them and pepper them. And then I'm just going to turn on my stove and pretty much just let them boil until they're cooked. So here's my dinner. I have my fiddleheads that I've cooked. I know this looks like a lot of butter, but honestly with fiddleheads, you have to put quite a bit with salt and pepper or else they just don't taste very good because they are kind of bitter in a way. So butter, salt and pepper really helps. And I made a very large salad. So I have some of the baby romaine I showed earlier for my sandwiches, as well as a spinach and spring mix salad blend. And I have some chopped cucumber, some halved grape tomatoes, a little bit of cubed cheddar cheese, some rotisserie chicken, some banana peppers, and then I just top it all off with some Italian dressing. This is the kind I have, the Robusto one from Wishbone, and some salt and pepper. And I haven't had fruit today, so I thought I would just have some strawberries for dessert, and that is my dinner. So it's the next morning because I just completely blanked on vlogging more yesterday, so I figured I'd put this in like one thing. What do you guys think about me starting to upload one vlog a week? I feel like I should not even try to commit to that because I just don't know what my schedule will be like this summer and if I'll even be able to, but it could just be like little snippets from the week, like my birthday vlog or something like that because I'm really trying to get into it because I feel like it's my chance to really talk to you guys because like if I'm doing sit down videos, I usually have a topic. Or if I'm like doing my get ready with me, I forget to talk about certain things. So then I don't really, I just show you guys the products. I don't really speak in them too often. So let me know what you guys think of that. Even though my vlogs are super boring because I don't have a life of any kind. So for breakfast this morning, I'm having one of these light and fit Greek toasted marshmallow cups. These are so good. And I'm just having some sliced strawberries and some of these nuts this morning. So I just preferred to have like one of these instead of like putting granola in my yogurt. So that's my breakfast. I'm having my second cup of coffee, which I know is bad because my goal is to have one cup, but um, I only have half calf right now. So I just feel like a cup of half calf just can't count as a cup of coffee. So lunch today, I decided I really wanted a grilled cheese, so I just made a grilled cheese with some of that honey oatmeal bread that I told you guys about yesterday, and some sliced up cucumber, cause I just wasn't feeling like a salad or anything. And then I have some fruit, so some bananas with like a tiny bit of peanut butter, and some cherries. Look what just came in the mail. I got my Clarisonic Mia 2. So I got the turquoise one because obviously this is my favorite color. I'm sorry that the lighting is kind of off so you guys can't really see this. But I'm going to have a whole video about this and my experience with it. And in this kit I got this little bag for it. I guess this is to travel with it or something or it's just a makeup bag. Do you guys know how many makeup bags I own? Because I just get them as like free gifts all the time. 
And of course you get the charger. And because I got this from QVC, I got the one that comes with four brush heads. So this is a year supply of brush heads. Plus you get the one that comes on it. So you get five brush heads, which is awesome because these are like $25 each, which is ridiculous. But you get two Radiance ones and the one on this is a Radiance one and then two Deep Pour ones. So that will be exciting and I do plan to do a video on this. Again, I got this from QVC which is why I got it for such a good deal. I got this for like $124 and you get a year supply of brush heads plus the bag and I got it on easy pay so I'm only going to pay like 30 I think it's like $34 a month for this which with my budget that works for me because I don't have enough money to pay you know $130 up front so I will have this linked down below if you guys are interested in that deal as long as it's still available I'll have it linked down below they had so many colors but of course I had to pick the one that's my favorite and I do plan to do a whole review video on this once I have tested it out for about a month or so. So it's now dinner time. I'm starving. I've been like hungry since three, but I've been like so busy cleaning. I finally got my house cleaned. I just need to vacuum the living room and then my house is done. And so for dinner, I wanted to make some burrito bowls or taco salad or something. Isn't it funny how if you make like a taco salad with chicken or something it's called a burrito bowl but if I make it with ground beef it's a taco salad like it's the same fucking thing watching Brandy's video we just uploaded our collab so if you have not seen it yet then definitely check it out I'll have it linked down below or in the cards I feel so bad because that day when I filmed my insecurities tag I didn't really think too much about what I was gonna say that's usually how all of my videos go I don't really like sit down and write out what exactly I'm gonna say I usually kind of wing it and like she just explained my channel and gave me like this big shout out and I feel like I didn't give her the same respect and I feel so bad I just didn't even think about it it's not that I didn't think she deserved it I just I completely forgot so um, you guys definitely should check out Brandy's channel because I feel like she is very down to earth. She does vlogs, she does get ready with me's. I really like her mixture on her channel. I feel like in a way we have similar channels. So I feel like if you like my content, you'll definitely like Brandy's and she definitely needs some more subscribers because she deserves them for how good her content is. So definitely check her out. I will put her channel down below as well. So my mom just dropped off some K-Cups because I was out. I only have half-calf and I just feel like half-calf just doesn't cut it. Unless like in the afternoon I like half-calf, but in the morning when I need caffeine, it just doesn't cut it. So thanks mama. I have decided that with my first paycheck or as soon as I have money, because right now I have like $30 to my name, then I'm going to buy a drip coffee maker. Because Keurig, first of all, the K-Cups are so expensive. They're so expensive. And I just, I don't wanna spend that much kind of money on friggin' coffee anymore. So I plan to get the little coffee maker, like the ones that are just four cup, and then I'm just gonna buy bagged coffee and it's gonna save me so much money and also the Keurig coffee I feel like just kind of tastes watered down I'm just kind of over it now that I'm getting more into coffee it was great when I first got into coffee because I didn't love the taste too much and I was buying like flavored coffees and it was so cool I could have 10 different flavored coffees at once because I would just buy all the boxes and just have them on my little carousel or something and it just it doesn't work anymore all right so that's what my taco salad looks like i just have the ground beef some salsa ranch some cherry tomatoes uh cube cheese because i was too lazy to shred it and i have the brown rice that i made earlier down here as well as a nice bed of lettuce and i'm just going to eat that with a vitamin water this is the revive fruit punch one i don't know what it tastes like so i'll have to let you guys know but that is my dinner. This fruit punch vitamin water tastes so good. It tastes just like those Kool-Aids that came in like the plastic bottles. You guys, tell me you know what I'm talking about. So it's the next morning again. Now it's Friday, May 26th and it's really rainy outside and today is my actual last day before work. So I just talked to the head chef and I start work tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. So I'll definitely update you guys. But I figured I'd just vlog for this day and then do a three-day vlog. And then we'll see about, 
you know, vlogs in the future. But I'm just sitting down. It's 8 o'clock in the morning. And I made myself some breakfast. So this is just some yogurt, some bananas, chia seeds, granola, and some one of those nut pack things I showed you guys. And I also put a little bit of peanut butter in the yogurt just to give it some extra flavor. And I'm just going to sit and I'm watching some YouTube videos. I'm just going to have a lazy day today to kind of get myself ready to start work tomorrow because once I start work tomorrow I don't think I get a day off until after we open so let's have a little chat real quick so for a while now I've been considering losing weight going through the process of not necessarily dieting but just like starting to have a healthier lifestyle and starting to lose weight and I just wanted to know if that were to happen because I haven't fully decided if I want to commit to that right now I know it sounds dumb, like there's never going to be a right time to start, but I am about to enter such a busy season. But at the same time, uh, I just, I've been in that mindset lately. Like I've been watching a lot of like meal prep and healthy food stuff and what I eat in a day is on YouTube just because they come up and like my recommended and then I choose them and then I go into this like circle of just watching them over and over. And it just gets me that motivation somehow to really consider doing it. So I just want to know, if that were to happen, do you guys want me to talk about it on my channel? Part of me is on the fence about whether or not to talk about it. Part of me thought, if I do it, I would just do it quietly. I find it a little sad that I feel like I can't talk about weight loss on my channel because I'm worried I'll offend someone. Isn't it so strange that you can offend someone by being overweight and then you can offend someone by trying to lose weight? Because I don't want anyone to think that I'm trying to say that you can't be beautiful at the size you are because I am all for body positivity. I wanted to know what your guys' thoughts would be on that. If I were to do certain videos on weight loss, it could be something as simple as me doing monthly check-ins with you guys and talking about it or doing healthy recipe ideas, what I eat in a day to lose weight. I honestly am not going to be offended if you guys say, you know what, I don't really want to watch that content kind of content. So if you guys say, you know what, I think that you should just do it on your own and not really talk about it, then I will. For lunch, I'm having a wrap. I, it fell apart, but whatever. At least you can see what's in it now. Um, it's literally just the same ingredients I showed you guys when I had my wrap on... Wednesday and I'm just gonna have some cut up strawberries a lemonade flavored vitamin water the reason why I've been drinking these a lot lately guys it's just because these were five for five dollars at my grocery store and I decided to try them because my sister raves about them so I woke up from a nap a few minutes ago it's now two o'clock no it's not it's now 3 30 <laughs> and who else like when you wake up from a nap do you guys ever feel like you need to snack on something so I'm making some popcorn because I bought some from Tractor Supply. Is Tractor Supply all over the place or is it just in Maine? But um, I got some popcorn kernels from them. Now I don't buy microwave popcorn anymore just because it's so much better on the stove. But I bought this Wabash Valley Farms non-GMO popcorn straight from the farm. This is the flavorful medley. So we have like purple and black kernels as well as like all the white and yellow ones so that is what I am making and I'm just gonna put a little bit of melted butter and some salt okay dinner time by the way it's 5 30 so it's been two hours since I ate popcorn um, I decided to just make another taco salad thing like last night only the difference I did is that I put some corn I basically took a corn on the cob and I cut the corn off of it I know it's like I'm an actual chef and then I sauteed it in a tiny bit of butter, salt, pepper, and Cajun seasoning. And then everything else is basically the same as I showed you guys from my dinner last night. But that's basically dinner. I'm going to drink the rest of my vitamin water. And yeah. And on that note, I think I'm going to end this vlog because this vlog has literally been you guys watching me eat certain meals. But I still hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you guys want to see more vlogs or if you guys want to see... I'm more in depth what I eat in a day where I even like show you guys me making those meals and please let me know down below and don't forget to give this a thumbs up for more vlogs please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already you can just go ahead and click that little red thing and I will see you guys next time bye guys